Serenissima Repubblica di Venezia. 1481. Hello everyone, I'm Beth Favetti, welcoming you to more Assassin's Creed 2 line. Last time, creepy nightmare happened. Today, we're in Venezia. And we also have to climb towers, and there's a mission with Leonardo. But for now, I'm gonna climb up because, you know, I wanna know where I am. Come on. Yeah, it's full. I need to get all the way up. Doesn't matter if you can see parts of the city from here. You have to see the entire city from all the way over to the top. Right? Yeah, right. Do I have to climb up from the top? I think so, yeah. From the inside, not from the top, obviously. You don't climb up from the top. Where are you gonna climb up to? Yeah, I'm stupid sometimes. I'm sorry. Anyways... We're in Venezia, we just got a section of a map, and we're gonna go help Leonardo. Hopefully find his place here in Venezia. Also, that thing is the marker for the ship that goes back, so... Nice to know. Anyways... Uh... Yes. Stazione del Traghetto. Oh, you have to pay to ride the, th the ferry, huh? Venice is situated in a series of islands surrounded by a lagoon, requiring travelers arriving on a departing to take a traghetti. Traghetti come in all sizes, from the small ferries that shuttle people around the city to large ships that carry passengers to and from the mainland. Traghetto stations were run by guilds, which enacted all kinds of laws to make sure that only the most connected members had the lucrative privilege of working at a station. Each station had its own rules, which could range from allowing only people 40 years of age and older to work there, to forcing pilots to carry 10 passengers per ship. Nice, huh? Anyways, let's talk to Leonardo. Mr. Da Vinci. Yes. Buongiorno e ben arrivato. I'm Elvise. Signor Donna has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Oh. Sure. Let's take a, a small tour. Ah, Venezia. What other? It's like an escort mission, but not really. But first, let's read about him. He. This is Elvise da Vilandino. Date of birth, 1441, profession, baggage handler. A Venetian native, Alvise worked, uh, or Alvis? I don't know, worked as a baggage handler for several years until convicted of Venice's super, uh, until convinced of Venice's superiority, he enlisted in the Navy. In 1500, he was tasked with defending the fortress of Moran from the Turks. After having a night of drinking, Alvise awoke to Turkish cannon fire bombarding the town. Panicking while running across the deck, he tripped, hit his head, and drowned. Nice! When it became clear Venice had lost the battle, he was accused of negligence by the ship's captain and erased from the logs of the navy. Also nice! Come, I will show you her wonder. Uh, can you please just start moving? Rialto Bridge. Oh, nice. There's also a cliff here. San Giacomo di Rialto. Originally founded in 421, San Giacomo is believed to be the oldest church in Venice, although the current building was constructed around 1071. The 15th century facade is crowned with a magnificent 24-hour celestial crock. During the Renaissance, the church was typically used by the merchants in the nearby market as a place to stop and pray during the workday. At least, that's what they told their wives. Ah, uh, okay. I get it. Let us continue. Fast walk, gentle push. Oh no. I just stole a little bit from here. And her clock tower. Magnifico. Yep. I got that. Come, come. There's more to see. I wouldn't think that you're able, yeah, to steal from Leonardo. Hello? What is this place? No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets, be it spices or silk. From near and far, there is, there is. You were told to stay home, but the rent is paid. I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. Oh. Stop, no, stop, stop. Let us continue the tour elsewhere. Very nice of all of you people to be here. Uh, I would like to kill you. 
but uh, not now because I I have a friend with me, so it wouldn't really be polite. You know, I could get him dirty with the blood of my enemies. So of course that wouldn't be nice. Look, isn't it amazing? Would you mind buying it for me? I have I left my money with my bags. <laughs> Very nice. And your step, Corleone. Huh. Nicely done. Did I did I lose any money? Hopefully not. Anyways, let's keep up with the tour. Tour. Because I do the I do the same thing, you know. Do this and then you steal. And here we have the Palazzo della Sede. Home. Palazzo de la Seta, huh? Normally I'd suggest a closer look, but with the way things are now. Why? What's happened? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There's been a resistance. Some of it violent. Oh. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom or some such nonsense. Nonsense? Bajanate, if you ask freedom me. is not nonsense. Destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. The Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the council. Good luck with that, my friend. Freaking rude people. What are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't do that. All right, let's le let's read about this place, Palazzo della Seta, the home of Venice's most powerful merchant Emilio Barbarigo. Uh, work on Seta, as it affectionately known by locals, was completed in 1450. The palazzo is a standout example of Venetian Gothic architecture, dark and imposing, yet light and airy at the same time. Yeah, I I would say it's imposing, you know, considering uh, what just happened. Anyway, uh, don't leave me behind. I don't want to kill people yet. Not uh, yet. <laughs> uh, all right. Anyway. Oh, next stop. And now I present to you your work, oh. Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You will see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success huh. and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. Nicely done. Here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. Try and gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another codex page... Oh, now we have to come here to the code codex the pages. Open. Grazie, my friend. Alright, let's give him a hug. That's nice. And that completes the mission, and I get paid for doing absolutely nothing. Bottega di Leonardo a Venezia. Let's read that. During his brief stay in Venice, Leonardo da Vinci was a paid military engineer for the Venetian army, and claimed to be working on a painting of the famous Isabella d'Este, of whom he had made a cartoon while visiting Mantua. Despite promising her repeatedly that he ha was hard at work, no painting ever materialized. Although many history books claim Leonardo only visited Venice once, it seems that he used his workshop there as a sort of secret retreat, returning to it repeatedly during his life. Well, okay. Emilio Barbarico. Alright, what is the, the L? It looks like a Grand Theft Auto thing. Why does it look like a Grand Theft Auto thing? Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Oh, I have codex pages. <laughs> Found another one. So the cutscene is different because I'm now in Venice? I don't think so. Is it? Maybe not. Oh, tricky. A numerical substitution and a language shift. Oh. Give me a moment. It's done. Nice. We got three of them deciphered. And we gained one health squared out of that? That's cool. I like it. I would do it again. Hey, there's people in here. And I can just rub them here and there. Okay. What was the... Uh, let me... Let me just switch over to my fists. 
Shall I? One, two. Here we go. Well, leave me alone, please. I, I don't want any more trouble. Shame on whom? You started attacking me. Sure, I robbed you, but uh, that's not important now, is it? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, let's get the Butcher Knife. Channel Cinquedea. Uh, stiletto? No, the Butcher Knife. Let's get the Butcher Knife. I want that. I just got a Butcher Knife. And now I can't afford anything else that is not the stiletto or something or whatever. The Venetian Falcon I will get. And now we don't have any money, so that's that. Come on, don't do that! More weapons at Villa de Ottore. And uh, we also get more stuff, but let's check the map here in Venice. Uh, there is a waypoint over here. And uh, sure, it is very close to the next story mission, so uh, maybe we can end over there. Um, because, you know, I'm, I'm getting to know stuff, and that tour took a while. Even though, you know, it's right. Uh, we only did come here uh, and took the tour. So maybe it's not the best idea to finish there. It depends on what we do uh, on the way. Or how much we do on the way. Uh, I'm speaking about time, you know. How long we take to get there, that's what I mean. So, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, and there's a guard over here. Hello, Mr. Guard. How about you take all this? And, uh... I do this. And you fall down. And now you're dead. And now I gotta move, because people... People are gonna know that I was up here, and oh, that's not nice. That's not a nice thing to have happen to me. So, oh no. Thank you for existing, uh, little ledge. Alright, anyways, uh, we need to get in there. Hello! You are dead! My not try it is not going up yet. <laughs> now that I listened to that back, it, that was funny. Just Ecolo and dead. He was dead. Oh no, there's no one over there, except me, and people seeing me kill you, apparently, which is not a nice thing to have happen, again. Uh, back out, back out, back out, there you go, you're dead. And you're dead as well. <laughs> I just listened to him saying, not under my watch. And, well, it technically wasn't not over your watch, it was over it. Ah, you're dead. And there's also a guy that saw me, and now he is dead. And now we just climb it up, and up, and up, and up, and are all the places here the same? Do I have to climb them from the top? <laughs> Again, with that, it's, it's from, the, from the inside, not from the top. Anyways, uh, you are on the opposite side that I want you to be in. So, uh, I mean, it's been it's been a bit over, what, 10 minutes? 15 minutes? So, sure thing. You know what? Let's, let's do the mission. Let's do the memory. Ah, oh, jeez. I just, I just don't want to die. There's a chest over there. There's, there's a chest. And I really want a chest. Because there, there might be money in the chest, you know, it's the type of chest that should have money in it. And so I want the chest. And now, I have got the chest! Ha ha! Hussah! Alright, now, I think the mission is down here. So what do you say? We come down, little by little, so I don't hurt myself very badly. And drop, and drop, and here we are. Start the memory. How best to get inside? Scale the wall and... Oh, that's not good. Yeah? Never make that jump. Need to find another way. Hey, you made it easy for me. 
Some of these cutscenes are super glitchy and stuff. Oh crap. Okay. Jerk lady in problems. Jerk lady in problems. Hey, I, need you. I remember you. We need to go. You never did apologize for knocking me over. No. Hello. Where to? The water. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. Oh no. Hey, Rosa, get to the river. Who is Rosa? At least let me read about her. Before you, you know, embark me with her. Hello, people. Hello, pe. Oh, crap. Ah, ah. Ah. Ah, no. Ha, ah, ah. I not sure I should be doing this like that. Uh there you go, there's some medicine. There you go, that's what I wanted to do. And now where are you, Rosa? Uh I will help you right away. You are dead, my good friend. Don't, don't, don't do that to me! What the hell what the hell are you doing? You were the one that came in here and started, you know, finding people here and there. And you know, it's also a nice idea to pay courtesans to help camouflage us and stuff. Uh, people watching, you know. What water do you want to get to? People are just dropping shit. <laughs> okay, don't just drop them at my feet. Not a nice thing to do. Just kill you. Uh, take this, take that, take that, take that, take that, and you're dead! And you're also dead. You are such a bad winner, you know? I am killing them for you, dude. Huh. Make sure each of you dies. Uh, I let them concentrate on you so that I can. Uh, come on, just kill him. Dead. And dead. What do you mean they're getting closer? I just killed them in front of people. Just so that you can get away safely because I don't care about being stealthy and stuff. Come on. Ah, more of them. You are dead. Oh, this guy I have to go from... I have to go against it from the back. Unless, you know, he doesn't want to defend from me. And take a, an extremely long time doing that, but okay. Now, where are you willing to go? Oh, excuse me! I'm trying to help you! Guys, guys, she's not worth it. She's really not worth it. No, what are you doing? I'm helping you get to the water. The one water that you didn't say anything about. Or you're trying to get to the boat. Where are you going, even? Okay, I'll carry you. Never did catch your name. To safety? What do you mean to safety? No. What do you mean I know? No, no, Ora. Now is not the time for small huh. talk. Are you blind? Ah, uh, crap. Thank you, thieves. I owe you. Prob oh, crap. You made me drop her right then and there. You are such a bad guy. Punch, punch, punch. Now stay there. Nope, you wanna die. 
and while you are, yeah, you're distracted, you are distracted, and now, uh, can I, can I just grab, excuse me, thank you, I'm going to grab you now, and I will carry you to safety, thank you very much. Except, uh, you know, I, the, the whole I dropped you thing, sorry about that. Ah, crap. <laughs> it's so funny, though. It's so funny. You can't, you can't tell me that's not funny. Jeez, it's like, it's the funniest thing ever. Uh, I'm in a different plane, you know, guys. This is not, this is not fair. I was in a different plane. You are also dead. No, I, I wasn't. Come over. I wasn't. I just said. Here you go. Here's safety. What's this? Rosa's been wounded. Us are here. We'll go the rest of the way in the morning. Huh. Nice. Well, we made some friends. You know, she was a hero and she could climb until she took an arrow to. You know her. Ugh. This is this turned out to be a, an extremely long mission. Uh, but he is down. Hello. And uh, yeah, they will reduce the distance. Don't worry about that. Again, turn to this. This is way more helpful. Yeah, you say keep going, but the game says no, no, be close. I will try, but uh, the game. Okay, come on, stop it with the distance, please. <laughs> he fell. <laughs> I've done it. You are down for the count. You are trying to shoot me and you are down too. Now reduce the distance to the target. There you go, less than that. And now they're coming closer and now I should be able to move a little bit. The music is really cool though. It's like intense. You're dead. And now we go all the way over here. Ah, uh, okay. Don't do that. Holy m smokes! That was a big hit! Come on over, dude! Come on over! Ah, crap. I'm getting shot. Okay, now you can die. Thank you! Is that all of them? Hopefully. Because I can't go on from They're this side. Where are they shooting you from? Ah, from the top. Doesn't matter. You're done. You got away, didn't you? Because I, I can't. I can't keep going from here. Oh no! It wasn't over. It wasn't over, guys. Yeah, I. I, I know. I didn't know that the mission went all the way over here. I can't climb there. I can't climb all the way over there. I can sure as hell finish these guys off from here. So that guy is down. There we go. Those two are done. The guy over there, I can't do much about. He's all the way over there. You know. Uh, anyways, where are you going? Please tell me this is going to stop soon. It's not. It's a giant escort mission. It's just a giant escort mission, guys. You know how I said, oh, let's screw it, let's just do the mission. Well, I should not have. Come on, Hugo. Is this it? It's not it. Isn't it? Is it? No, it's not. Okay. Good news is, we got super close to another waypoint. Bad news is, we're not done with the story as to synchronize with it. Up top. 
Yeah, I know 30 is like your limit game, but you gotta give me some leeway here. I am trying my best to stay at your desired distances. Now that's what I call a jump. And now there's a guy that I will have to kill before the game tells me, hey, you're way too far even though the thing is getting close to you. Uh, was that it? Can I, can I please? Wait, where are they? Are they not coming here? I think, I think they stopped. Maybe, maybe I did overdid a little. Oh, almost went down. Almost. Haha, but not cigar. Close, but no cigar. That's, that's the way it goes. Uh, now, Ezio, yes, thank you. Uh, is there a reason why you stopped over here? Did, did I have to come over here with you? Oh, yeah, I had to! Alright, that, that's that. Another checkpoint reached? He's dead, idiota! Say a prayer later! Porco I need to see... I need to see Antonio. Be careful. Let me do it. Go and find Antonio. Mr. Uvo, do what he says. All right. Hey, hey. Wake up. Oh. What do I... Okay. The game just like the cinematic approach from last episode, and now I have to carry her over here. Rosa, are are you alive? Where's Antonio? Make yourself useful. Clear a space for her. Put her down there. Well, things are gonna happen, I'm sure. Can't run. Just press B. Press B, Ezio. Oh, they've sent for help. Rosa, what's happened? Just get this out of me. Soon, soon. Let's have a look. You know, I have some medicine that cures everything, so maybe you can just, you know, it out. hit it Rosa, on top of you. Now! Come here, boy. Ow. Okay, I, this is not what I needed to see. I'm sorry, Piccola. Sorry. Piccatelo nel pollo. Sorry. Go fetch Bianca and be quick. Help me with this. How? Take a clean piece of linen. When I remove my hand, press the cloth into a room. Are you No. Ready? Now. No. Ben Fox, you work well under pressure. <laughs> but, uh, I just have to press the buttons. Etu is the one that's doing the work. Avanti. Get Rosa inside so that Bianca can close the room. You'll be all right. The worst is past. Ti venisse cancero, brutto bastardo! A te che la grandissima troia di tua madre! Thank you. Rosa is most dear to me. Well, it doesn't sound her. like that. I've always had a soft spot for women in distress. So I've heard. Don't look so surprised. Huh. We know all about you, said Ezio. Your work in Florence and the rest of Tuscany. Good work, too. If a little. Unrefined. Unrefined? I can guess. When you have a minute, yeah, you see me I can agree with unrefined. Alright, so we did that. And now we got another memory right here in the Gilda di Ladri de Venezia. We'll read about this and then it's done. Established sometime around 1465, the Venetian Thieves Guild, due to its illegality, had no permanent headquarters. Although efforts were made by the magistrates to crack down the thievery, accused culprits never seemed to be around with the city. <laughs> Hiccups when searching for them. Hiccups. Which is a... Uh, it's a good thing that we're stopping now then. Because I just got the hiccups and I need to be able to speak and stuff. So thank you so very much for watching guys. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to the channel if you like the video. If you enjoyed being here with me, having a great old time. And next time we will go back to the villa and take money out of that chest. And we will also continue on with the story of Assassin's Creed 2. I will see you guys later.